What's going on, YouTube? This is Inventory King at Inventory King on Instagram. Coming at you guys today with a DIY project. I am building a LED light system for my 220 gallon show tank. Uh, and without further ado, let's get this project started at 16 speed. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure your rain gutter and you're going to want to give yourself some space, uh, you know, maybe like an inch or two shorter, um, just so you have space to play. I cut mine a little too long, but it still fit in. Then you're gonna want to paint it. Uh, this is where I use the acrylic non-toxic paint um, that I use when I paint the back of my tanks. Then the next step is you're gonna go and get the aluminum foil tape and you're gonna line the inside of the rain gutter with the foil tape. This is gonna help reflect the light back down into the into the tank so that you're not losing any light. Uh, once you get the gutter lined, you're going to drill a hole into each one of the three quarter inch PVC end caps. This is gonna serve as where you're gonna put your screws. Then on the gutter end caps that you painted, you're going to evenly space and measure and drill holes in those and connect the nuts and the bolts in there. So the first part of this project is complete. You measured your gutter, you cut the gutter, you painted the gutter, you painted the end caps for the gutter, You and this is plastic, uh, you then drilled holes into the uh, center of the three quarter inch PVC end caps. You also evenly spaced them in the gutter end caps and you drilled them. Right now I'm gonna turn these lights off and power on the light. And then again, you, uh, you line the inside part of the rain gutter to help with that, uh, with that foil tape to help reflect more light back into the aquarium. Uh, it's uh, it's got a lot of different colors that you can choose from. I like the white and bluish one the best. Um, it doesn't have as many crisp options as you would say if you bought like a current USA, but there's a huge price difference here. And this is highly customizable considering that you're gonna cut it to the size you want. Uh, you're gonna get the exact type of rope light that you want, which I recommend to make sure you buy waterproof rope light. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of different colors. Um, you know, each person has their preference, and you know, I like just the whitish, the whiter with a little bit of blue undertone in it. It's the one I like the most on this particular light. Um, so something to keep in mind here uh, when you guys are going to be building this is write down a list of what you're going to need, and I did that for you guys. And I also wrote down what I paid for them and where I bought them. So the foil tape I bought on Amazon, paid twelve dollars ninety nine cents for it. Obviously, you're gonna have it. I'm gonna have extra left there because I didn't need it all. So uh, you know, for a future project, the LED rope light. I paid $22.99 for it and it came with the rope light, the power supply, the remote, um, and then the, uh, the sensor for the remote. And as you can see what I was touching right there at the center of the light, uh, that are those are braces you use. Uh, you cut out of the extra rain gutter, the thickest part, and you make a brace so that it holds uh, the PVC from bowing. Um, now from Home Depot, I bought the following. I bought four three quarter inch end caps for the PVC pipe. That was $1.97 total. Then I purchased two three quarter inch PVC pipes. That was $5.08 total. Uh, one 10 foot rain gutter, it was plastic, was $3.98. Uh, to buy the screws, four of them was $2.20. To buy the four nuts was $1.04. Um, and the uh, two end, uh, end caps for the rain gutter, so the rain gutter end caps was $8.86 total. Then at 
my local Ace Hardware, uh, which is Ace and High School Pharmacy, where I'm from. Um, they sell the acrylic paint. Uh, it was not on sale, I believe, for 99 cents. And then the foam rollers, which actually, I bought the foam rollers at Home Depot, paid $4.97 for the two-pack. So when you add all this together, to build this light, costed $65.07. So guys, um, please comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, would love uh, to see you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know what you think. And everyone, fish on, enjoy the hobby, and try this out.